Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am so excited to be reviewing the Ole Hendrickson Sunscreen. And this is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Mineral Sunscreen. It is SPF 30. It is not water resistant. It has vitamin C and zinc oxide in here. The texture of this sunscreen is very smooth. It is very silky. It is so easy to blend onto the skin. And it doesn't create any pills at all. And if you have used their banana eye cream, the scent is exactly the same. And I want to say the consistency is just a little bit thicker than the banana eye cream. My skin type is Fitzpatrick number 3 and so any non-tinted mineral sunscreens that I wear um, there will be some sort of white cast on my skin but with this sunscreen there is a very minimal white cast on my skin so which is something I really like from this sunscreen and also the finish is not too oily and not too matte and so it's also very suitable for all skin types such as oily skin like mine and normal to dry skin and so I like that about this sunscreen as well and every time I reapply the sunscreen the white cast doesn't get any more prominent than this and also there are no pills at all every single time that I reapply this sunscreen sometimes when I feel like the white cast of the sunscreen is a little bit prominent for my skin tone I will apply a little bit of my tinted foundation and my favorite tinted foundation it is new stick here lightweight and has a sheer coverage but it's definitely enough to mask that white cast on the skin So overall, I like that this is a mineral sunscreen with a very minimal white cast on a skin type like mine and darker. And also, it is not tinted because sometimes people don't like to wear a tinted mineral sunscreen. And my, myself, I wear a non-tinted mineral sunscreen when I want to apply my own foundations on top. And also, the finish of this sunscreen is not too oily and not too drying. So it's suitable for more skin types. Um, the one thing I don't like about this sunscreen is that it's not water resistant because I feel like when I wear a water resistant sunscreen it will withstand my sweats a lot better and also holds on to my foundations a lot better also there is a vitamin c in here but it's not aerosolic acid so i'm not sure the efficacy of this vitamin c in here so i don't know the efficacy of vitamin c in this sunscreen because the most effective vitamin c is aerosolic acid and aerosolic acid needs to be stored in a certain ph range and also um it needs to store in an airtight container and the way you tell that vitamin C is no longer good is when it turns orange and since this sunscreen is an orange color it would be really hard to tell um yeah so let me know your thoughts on this sunscreen otherwise thank you so so much for watching and like always i will see you next time bye